Really quick guys, before we get into this video, we are doing a giveaway currently on this brand new 2018 Laramie Longhorn 3500, 6, 7 Cummins of course, four wheel drive, push button start, mega cab, yeah, who doesn't like a mega cab, reclining back seats, or, or if you're not into the latest and greatest fanciest stuff, we also have, for all you guys that just love the classics, the classic 1991, this one's fully intercooled, okay? Rust free, beautiful, beautiful five speed four wheel drive first gen. So if you guys are interested in either of these trucks and having a chance to win them, go to team-lnp.myshopify.com and every $15 you spend will automatically submit the name, phone number, and email that is used to place the order. That will automatically be submitted. So every $15 is another entry to win. Don't miss out, link in description. Yo, what is up loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So we are back in the barn here with the, uh, two-wheel drive first-gen project. So what we're gonna be trying to officially do today, yesterday I kind of prepped all this and got everything marked out for where I'm going to be setting up this intercooler. Now, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna to have to do and that's going to be, I got a hole saw so I can try to cut through the, um, I don't know, just like the front support brace slash wall thing right there. Um, and what I'm gonna to try to do, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit tough, but I'm gonna to try to cut through it just deep enough and then uh, obviously stop before it gets any close to that radiator and then I'm gonna have to cut the rest out with the sawzall very very carefully same with this side um, it's just the way it's got to be it's just the way I got to do it and just be very careful that when I go to finish making my cuts I don't cut anything I'm not supposed to on the back side however if you look down in here once you get this out of the way um, there's really nothing I should hit that's super important down through this canal right here as long as I don't cut into the radiator you know what I mean so um, other than that I should be fine it's just a matter of <laughs> making sure making sure I don't cut into that um, worst case scenario I'll have to end up buying another one but hopefully it doesn't come to that hope I can uh, just make it work and not mess anything up so um, I'm gonna be setting the camera up getting some stuff laid out and worked out um, and then after that I don't know we're just gonna have to see how things go we're just gonna have to see how it goes um, then of course we're just going to keep on going until I feel like it's a good point to stop but uh, I want to try to get at least three to four hours worth of working on the truck every single day um, for a video. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're just going to go to town right now and see what we can get done. Quick little update on how things are going. First thing I want to say is not as clean as I would have liked in terms of the cuts around, but I didn't have um, the ability to use the hole saw like I thought I was. It just wasn't working, so I had to like drill small holes all the way around, then use a sawzall and cut it out. Um, and it, I mean, it pieced in there, but it wasn't as pretty as I would have liked it, especially not on this side. This side, I'll show you there. I don't care, but. That one corner got out of hand a little bit. So I'm not sure if it's, I'm gonna worry about that too much. I just wanna make sure this is gonna sit in here and you know, not have any kind of uh, issues or problems. So we are going to take this off, take the intercooler off, and also that cross support that goes down along the bottom that kind of connects everything here together and ties it in doesn't work. So I am going to put the bolts back in um, so everything else can be connected, at least to this, this support here. Um, but it does not look like that one that goes across the bottom is going to work so I don't, I'm not too worried about that the grill will still at least hang on there um, and we should still be able to piece the headlights the uh, not the headlights the blinkers um, on there so that should be fine but yeah that's where we're at right now been out here for a couple of hours now and I don't want to leave until that is officially uh, in place at least for now and everything all the holes are drilled for the bolts and everything else there to keep it supported and everything will just be in place so 
Um, we're going to keep wrenching away on this thing or cutting away and stuff. I'm going to, um, just on the inside here, as you can see, back in there, if you can see it, there's not very much room in between the intercooler um, and that metal that's in the way right there. So I don't want any of that sharp metal cutting boots and stuff. So I'm going to take the saw, cut a little bit more away from that so that I'm not going to have, you know, sharp metal cutting on rubber and crap like that and then just causing issues. So we're going to keep on, keep on working away and I might put that transmission cooler back in between here because there's a huge gap in between but with the bolts down there you can see this bolt right back in here and on the other side in this part that goes across here uh, mostly the bolts down low this thing can't go in anymore that's as far in as it's going to go which should be fine it should be just enough um, but with that sharp metal in the way that that can cause an issue so we're going to get that trim down out of the way and um, and then we should be good to go. And this thing won't be very hard to take out if we need to, for some reason, um, you know, get to that again, or, you know, whatever. It's gonna be four bolts and a couple couple boots hooked up to the um, intercooler piping. So anyways, we're gonna keep working away on this thing and hopefully next time I pick up this camera, this is all tied together and uh, done. Well, shoot, boys. Things on there. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna take the grill back off, but there's what you're looking at. And no, we don't have, um, the bumper's not gonna be going back on the front of this truck. It would hardly fit anyhow, but I just, I, I just don't wanna put it back on. But what I might do, it might look a little bit janky, but whatever who cares I mean this truck ain't the prettiest thing but uh I might get like a piece of flat steel that's just exactly whatever this measurement is tall in between here to there and just put it across um, the front here it's just that tall to where it blocks any direct contact here um, not that it's that big of a deal I just don't want you know a rock coming up and just going straight at that with no protection. Obviously up here there's still not the greatest, but you know, whatever. Um, but anyways, that's what we're looking at here. It just hardly fits. I mean, look how close it is to touching the grill on there, on the corners. On the, on the middle, it's totally fine. There's a good inch and a half gap all the way. Once you get down to the corners, it's so, so close. Now let me show you what all I did here. Get this grill and set it over here. The grill's not perfect anyways. It's got a couple small cracks in it, but it works. So what I did was I ran these bolts through right here with some bushings up top. Of course, those just pop right in here. Now my transmission cooler is behind there. I don't know how I can show you, but Maybe right there you can see it, don't know. Um, you can kind of see it hanging there. You can look down through here maybe. You can see it sitting right there. This is it, this black part right here. And there's still, I mean, this is my whole hand width of a gap in between the radiator and in between the intercooler. And it's really tight. It's not like freely swinging around down in there. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now I didn't tighten down all the bolts for the intercooler. And the reason for that is is once the compound turbo system comes in and I want to mount up some stuff here, which I might test today if I can put an intake horn back on here like um, from our other first gen or old first gen one, see if it works. I don't know if it will or not, but I'm gonna try it. Um, and put an old intercooler boot on that and see if it hooks up and see how easily it hooks up. I mean, clearly there's a lot more room on this side, which is good because this is the side that's gonna have the compounds and I'm gonna need to access that okay too. And that's nice and nice and right there in the open. But so yeah, that's all this is, is just ran through with some bolts and it's just hardly, oh, you can't see it, but it's just hardly, hardly touching 
down there on the frame. Just real, real, real lightly, like just like a hair, just like a hair width of a gap um, from touching. But yeah, most of my strength is going to be up top here with these bushings that keep that keep that nice um, firm gap in between. So it's almost like it's hanging from up here, and then the bottom is just to stabilize and keep it from swinging around and. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Okay, so I didn't get much of that on video because it was kind of a bunch of repeat stuff. I basically took the intercooler off. And no, it's not all fastened and there's a bolt missing there. There, There's only two up top here without the spacers and bushings just um, just to hold it up so it doesn't you know tip back and fall off. But this is essentially how it's going to work um, being intercooled. Now, obviously I'm going to have to get different boots because these aren't going to work. These are too big apparently. Um, the ones off the second gen intercoolers have a much bigger um, outlet down here. So, but that's that's still how it's going to work. So, the boot fits through there just fine. Obviously, nothing is clamped together. Nothing's tightened down. I'm going to need to have different boots, and I'm going to use different uh, a different kit, not this exact setup. But this is essentially how it's going to be. You know, you get your intercooler. Boom! It all runs up here. So. Um, no, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use this intake horn, but if I do, I'm going to just take a metal grinder and grind that off smooth and then repaint it so you get the big arm off here that you don't need. And then I'm going to have to get a different boot for there so it fits right. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave it a fat thumbs up. Hit that like button. And then also, don't forget, if you want to win a brand new 2018, sells factory warranty and everything, or a 1991 four-wheel drive, five-speed, manual first gen. You guys are gonna have your option. Go to team-lmp.myshopify.com. Every $15 is another entry to win. And this is how it works, because some people get kind of confused on, oh, you know, it doesn't tell me how many entries I got. Does that mean I didn't get any? No, but basically what happens is, whatever name, email, and phone number you enter when you place your order, that order information automatically gets submitted into the drawing so that when the drawing takes place, if you place the orders, every fifteen dollars you spend is another entry to win. Basically, um, it's just going to keep submitting your name for as many entries as you get. So that's how that works. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.